this coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Fletcher is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He'll return it from the one. Gets out to about the 21. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Three down, three down. Mike 41, Mike 41. He's got an opening. He's out to the 30. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First and 10. Ball on the 37. Three down, three down. Mike 41. And he tackles him hard at the 39-yard line. Fights forward to about the 39. Second and nine. Ball on the 39 yard line. And he's taken down around the 38 yard line. the 37 Mitchell only gets about a yard there on the draw it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it he fires this one and he's hit immediately huge play for both the quarterback and receiver but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the side, you can see that the defense is fired up after that. And he carries the ball for a nice game. This is the ninth play of this drive. A nine-play, 79-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So the score now, 7-0. Turner has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. About 
seven yards there on the scamper from the halfback, and that's going to be good for the first. They went misdirection there on the counter. Good job up front by the offensive line and by the running back to follow his block. He chucks it downfield. Almost intercepted. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Out of bounds at the 43. Watch nine, watch nine. Time to go night, night. They'll bring him down at the 48. He looked for the cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of down. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Feel that one tomorrow. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Well, the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. And they make the stop at about the 23-yard line. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. Second and seven. Ball on their own 23. Louisville is up seven. He's got it with room to run. He's tackled at the 31. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He's hit and taken down. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Three down, three down. Check 83, ball for 83. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. that this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle for a loss. So at the end of one quarter, Louisville leads it 
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Quick throw out to the receiver. Drop down around the 38-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. He wants it all going long. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. From the 29-yard line, second down. He's taken down around the 21-yard line. Looking for six. Oh, what an interception. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. From their own 20-yard line, first down. Louisville is up by a touchdown. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Run inside. Stop quickly. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. throw and he's level at the 24 yard line Montgomery is back deep to return He's taken down at the 46-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on them. Pierce gets the ball left side, and he is drilled at the 46. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 46. Ready! 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 Nice run, and he's brought down. Picked off. 
So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. First down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. Louisville is up a score. One play, no lose yards. Safety. Two points may not seem like much, but I guarantee you the coaches are furious right now. You never want to commit that kind of mental error that leads to a safety. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Ford gains around eight yards on the run. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He fights forward to about the 46. about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's tackled right around the 40. find his man for a nice game. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Fires quick, he's got another one. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. Tucker gains about four yards there. The Bearcats lose their second timeout. This one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Gets it out to him again. Tackle around the 18 yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. This defense has been in this situation before. They forced a huge turnover when they were backed into their own red zone last time. 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Units out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. Louisville's leading by two. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, it, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well. And, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. Tucker from the one. Tackle made at the 26 yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. The stop at the 37. From their own 37 yard line. First down. Makes it out to about the 49. the 45 from the 45 yard line second down he's at the 30 and they push him out at the 21. Quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Second and 13. Ball on the 24 yard line. That's a great job here by the defense to knock that football away and set up a fourth down. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Here we go. And down he goes, right around the 18-yard line. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Louisville with a two-point advantage. Mitchell off the left side. Brought down at the 19-yard line. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. He might have a chance. He's taken down at the 29-yard line.
outside after a nice pickup. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 33. Three down, three down. Mike 41. Set. Blue 14. Blue 14. Hey. 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 Quick toss. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. the defense they were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well Montgomery back to return it and he's taken oh. down to 37 yard line let's go, let's go, this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's tackled in the open field. It's second and eight. Ball on the 39. Ready! 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 And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Fletcher awaits the snap. He's tackled at the 31. Nice play, baby. Nice play. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Louisville holds just a two-point lead. Check, check. And they'll bring him down behind the line. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Second down and 14. Ball on the 27-yard line. Big opening. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 50. It's first and 10. Ball on the 50. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. Third down again. Throws and he's right there to knock it away. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Right now he wants to get this kick away and change field position. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's into the open field. Makes it out to about the 30. He 
It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Ready, And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Looks like it could come down to the very end. Louisville's leading by two. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Johnson awaiting the return. down at the 49. Still a lot of football to go here in the fourth quarter, but if they score here, they give themselves some breathing room. Louisville is up two. Mitchell gains around six yards on the run. From the 45 yard line, second down. Three down, three down. Mike 41. Right? Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. I thought they might have been able to exploit the over pursuit of the defense, but not on that play. Taken down right around the 28 yard line. It's a smart job here by the coaches. Making a play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. First and 10. Ball on the 28. Gets it out. He's met immediately. They're stopped for a five yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. out to about the 32-yard line. Woo! So we're looking at another third down here. And he's immediately tackled. Louisville with a two-point advantage. Kicks up, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Well, this is it, Brad. We've been battling for four quarters, and it comes down to this. Can they drive the field and get the ball in the end zone to win this football game? You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. The tackle made at the 30-yard line. They run the option, and it's the tailback who gives them an eight-yard gain on the play. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. It to the 32-yard line. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. They'll drop in for a loss. 
he wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. possession of the ball there. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. They've got ten guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Defensive coaches have got to be loving what they've seen from their guys today. Uh, you and I talked to both of these coordinators getting ready for this game, and they put together a game plan. They shared it with us, and we're seeing it out there on the field today. They still are going to determine the outcome of this game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's at the 40. He makes his way to about the 38. From the 38-yard line. First down. Just under three to go in regulation. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Cut. Scramble. Tackle around the 36-yard line. He gained a couple of yards on the keeper. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Nice gain as he works the right side. He decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. The Bearcats, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Back 31. Hey, Oklahoma! Tackled after a decent pickup. Second and five. Ball on the 14. And he shoved out of bounds around the 11 yard line. Man left, man left. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Double tight, double tight. We have less than a minute to go. Hey, Oklahoma! Hey, hey. Takes a knee. It's the ninth play of the drive. Close and competitive all day long. And in the end, a low-scoring final. Louisville, 10, Cincinnati, 5. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Louisville comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NC.